It is a privilege to announce that GQ's Special Humanitarian Awards for 2018 goes to the Walk Free Foundation. To accept this award, please welcome Grace Forrest to the stage. Thank you very much. Thanks, Hot Albo, I really appreciate it. <laughs> it is an honour to be here tonight to collect this award, and I would like to accept it on behalf of the Walk Free Foundation and the man who co-founded it with me, my dad and mentor, Andrew Forrest. Unfortunately, yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, he couldn't make it over tonight, but he sends his sincere, sincere thanks as well. There are more slaves in the world today than any other time in human history. And slavery only continues to exist because we allow it to. It is a system that was built to profit those with privilege and power at the expense of society's most vulnerable people. And while the thought of any person living in slavery today, let alone millions of people, is mind boggling, that's largely because it is hidden in plain sight. So a simple question for you. When you thought about what to wear tonight, and you all look amazing, by the way, did you think about the people behind the clothes? Did you ask who made these clothes? A very simple question. Who made these clothes? Without transparency, we cannot see or protect vulnerable people. There are amazing ethical clothing brands in Australia. Bianca Spender, who I'm wearing tonight, and others like Kit X, Ginger and Smart, and Outland Denim. However, sadly, their commitment to ethical procurement is not felt widely throughout the fashion industry. Ethical shouldn't be a choice. It should be the basic standard. It should be the rule, not the exception. Over 40 million people living in slavery throughout the world is an overwhelming prospect. But at Walk Free, we believe and work towards slavery being ended in all its forms in our lifetime. We address slavery on the ground with the Freedom Fund and look to fundamentally dismantle the drivers that allow slavery to continue, such as conflict, exploitative business practices, and gender inequality. A shocking 71% of all modern day slaves are women and girls. We work from the top down and ground up to strategically tackle slavery from every angle possible. This is done by activating religious leaders, CEOs, policymakers, prime ministers and activists to find ways to intercept the problem, liberate victims and ultimately stop this massive abuse of human rights occurring in the first place. For the last five years, we have worked to quantify slavery by creating the Global Slavery Index. It is now the world's leading data set on slavery measuring forced labour, forced marriage, human trafficking and state-imposed forced labour. But we need everyone to be a part of the solution. Slavery is wrapped up in so many of the world's greatest challenges. If you care about protecting our natural environment, you care about slavery. If you care about alleviating poverty, you care about slavery. If you care about vulnerable people like refugees, you care about slavery. If you're a feminist, you care about slavery. However, it is not enough to simply care. We need to show it and we need to act. Every single thing we buy has a positive or negative effect on people and the environment. Let's make sure we are actively contributing to the kind of world we want to live in with the way we spend our money every day. I implore each and every one of you to question the origins of the food, clothes and products you buy, knowing that each of us has an opportunity and a responsibility to shape a fairer, safer, more sustainable world. It is a pleasure to accept this award tonight. Thank you, Brandon, for flying all the way from WA this morning to be here tonight, and to my amazing mum and mentor who is also here, Nicola Forrest. And finally, thank you to GQ for getting behind and backing this critical issue. <laughs> 